Hey, it's just a reading here. Today is June 7, 2023. The time for me is 3.18 a.m. This is a brand new Pisces reading. No projecting, a clear understanding, a truthful understanding now. This reading may resonate with you and it may not. Take what is, lead the rest. Only my angels and ancestors are allowed to this reading that I'm about to do. If you're coming back, hey, if you're new, welcome. not gonna waste no time we're gonna tap in for pisces energy first card is justice libra energy the second card is the page of swords Somebody looking for some watching some excuse me, I burped a little bit. Um somebody watching some reading some lady like she reading something here. This young little yeah, this is a young little energy here. Like a child reading something. You could be getting some messages, some um news, some type of information here. You guys could be reading six of pentacles here. Sharing energy. Giving away, donating, four of swords, getting uh, your sleep, resting, solitude. The page of pentacles. Trying to brighten your uh, financial horizons here. With the star, hope and healing energy, Aquarius energy here. With the six of wands celebration being recognized, a little popular here. With the hangman, it's your energy right here, Pisces. It looks like the uh, scales getting balanced. You may be waiting for some news, like I said. This is a young um, female energy. You guys could be a little younger or feel a little younger. Maybe expanding by reading, trying to find some more knowledge here, getting into some wisdom. Yeah, tapping into that wisdom, getting into some more wisdom, getting into some more knowledge, trying to find some information. I feel like a lot of you guys are by yourself. Like I said, I feel like some of y'all are trying to get information, maybe online, trying to find things um, by yourself with solitude, you know, resting, getting your mind and body prepared for maybe something new right here with this page of Pentacles. Maybe a new job is on the rise. Hope and Hill Energy is here. The star got your back. You got to be noticed here. Yeah, I feel like a lot of you guys are just, you know, staying to yourself right now. Trying to keep things calm, cool, and collected. So it's more about justice. The things can make a turn, though. Let's see what happens. What got balanced out? The Two of Pentacles. Okay, so juggling things. Um, could be your finances. What else are you juggling? The reason why I say finance because of two of pentacles. That's money. Nine of wands. Somebody that's pushing through. Yeah. So you guys could be juggling finances here, trying to push through. Some of y'all could be um, working a little hard at your job, trying to push through. It's like maybe y'all could be a little, a little tired. Not all of y'all.
Three of Pentacles. Yeah, this is work related, like I said, job related. Um, so you guys may be working with people, maybe tired, burnt out, working with certain people, pushing through with the Nine of Wands. This is somebody who's um a little battle torn, a little tired, fatigued, kind of tired of like working or like pushing through something, but they're still moving. I feel like a lot of you guys are still moving, trying to get through something here. You may need help too. I'm getting that maybe y'all may need a little help. Maybe you need somebody there to like, you know, help you out a little bit. Three of Pentacles. There could be people helping you like friends and family. So I mean, I'm like, I ain't getting no damn help. But whatever this Three of Pentacles is, it, it may have meant maybe you was getting help at one point in time. Somebody was giving you a helping hand or maybe you craving for that help. You may need that help. Maybe you looking for help with that Page of Swords. That's not for everybody. Yeah, with strength. Y'all need strength. Leo energy here. Tell me more about the Page of Swords. What is this watching looking energy here? The sun. Okay, so brighter horizons. The sun came to light. Why is the sun here? The three of wands. Okay, yeah. Off to a new start. Some type of new beginning here. Tell us about the new beginnings. Progression. The two of wands. Okay, so you got the three and the two here. It may be a lot of thinking, a lot of decision making. Something that you're trying to figure out. You got the sun here that's in your favor. So whatever you need to make a decision on, it's going to be a wise one because it's going to end with some type of happiness. It's going to start and end with happiness. You got the world right here in your hand, Pisces. So whatever you decide to do, you know, the world got your back. Some of you guys may be moving, getting a new job. Some of y'all may be traveling out because you got the world here. Maybe y'all planning to move out the country, move out... Uh, from your uh, state that you at now, move to another state. Not for everybody. I feel like y'all want to begin something new here, some type of new cycle. It's perfect timing for you. I do believe that. That's why I would say I feel like y'all reading on something, getting information, because um, the two of wands. She did have a book open right there next to the world, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. Yeah, she had like a map. I like this little energy. Okay, so let's see. Let's tell tell us more about, um, I see you may have had to leave something behind here with the four cups. Say more about the Six of Pentacles. Five of Cups. Regret leaving something behind, having regrets and deep thought about something. Okay, so what are you in deep thought about? Page of Cups in reverse. This is a young energy. 
kind of a um an impulsive energy when it comes down to love kind of like just making um a choice even though it's not good with somebody that's not good for them kind of like in an like imaginative kind of like imagining things that are not going to happen like this man right here he's dreaming and thinking about daydreaming about something that's probably never gonna happen and it's in reverse so I feel like maybe your creativity side is running free as well maybe when it comes down to love maybe things are not going as what is planned here when it comes down to finding new love here tell us more about the page of cups why is your page of cups in reverse the seven of wands being defensive maybe you are defensive about love maybe the page of cups got you thinking like hmm what about it <laughs> what about it what about love y'all might have been talking to somebody and you kind of regret talking to them with that five of cups maybe you saw something going on this could be an old person or a new person Maybe he had you snap out of reality, uh, snap back into reality, snap up out of this imaginative type of state. Seven of Wands. Yeah, kind of like. And then she's kind of like on her Zen type of like solitude, isolation type of shit right here probably not even worrying about who's trying to come for her i don't think that's really y'all energy y'all want to fight i feel like this is y'all energy just finding that peace wanting to sleep i'm sorry y'all if i sound out of it i've been running around like crazy and i'm still a little sick but i'm fine i already drank some tea okay so Sleep and a ten of cups. Family home. Oh shoot. Why is the ten of cups here? Tell us more on why the ten of cups is here. the world the four of wands okay so while you sleeping yeah that's what I'm saying maybe there's somebody here that you regret not talking to because there's an energy here with this world card and this four of wands ten of cups Somebody might want to share some love with you and share a home with you. Maybe want to start a home and a family with you here. Because you got everything you need and more right here. It's going to be a new cycle and a new change here. With the Ten of Cups in the world here. And the Four of Wands. This could possibly be like a marriage. A celebration of... Um, or you could be going to a, a, a wedding, but it's gonna be some happiness here. These, these, uh, both of these women are dancing. Y'all may be going to a, a wedding, like I said, a party or something like that. Somebody could be getting married, could be starting a family. But I have a strong feeling somebody wanna start something with you. Tell us more about this page of Pentacles. Yeah, Queen of Pentacles energy. Tell us more about the Page of Pentacles. Yeah, this Knight of Cups, somebody that's kind of younger, charming, handsome, good looking. Tell us more. Yeah, with the Ten of Pentacles. Damn, somebody want to start something with you. 
you may not be interested. As I was saying, I feel like y'all imagination is running free, but I don't feel like y'all ready for that love right here with this page of cups in reverse. It's kind of like, kind of like of an illusion. Like y'all probably like, man, whoever's trying to come my way, I don't, I don't really don't care. I'm not looking, I'm not worried. I'm a little standoffish. Y'all could be mean mugging, having a resting bitch face. Could be looking a little mean. But that's somebody that got their eye on you, though. Even though you're not interested. Tell us more about the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, because y'all walked away from a situation here. So whatever y'all walked away from... Somebody don't know about this. Whoever wants your attention is not a cups, male or female. Um, they probably don't know that you walked away from something because you right here by yourself with the star energy healing on your own. So this person really don't know much. They don't know that you have to go through a loss. But they trying to come in with some nine of cup energy. Tell me more about the star. Yeah, the ace of swords. So the truth came and it went all in different levels of your head and had you feeling like, nope, can't do it. That's why y'all healing right now. That's why I saw that four of cups. Queen of Swords, yeah. You got two of these here. You got so much truth here. You know, you got the Five of Swords here. Somebody wasn't, somebody was being unfair here. Probably causing a lot of, a lot of headaches, migraines, and heartache. Tell me more about the Ace of Swords, the truth. The Six of Cups, so the truth about somebody from the past. So somebody don't know about your past. I don't think you're ready to open up these levels of hurt that happened with you. You're not ready to tell nobody about what happened with this person from the past. And I, this might this might affect your love life because there's going to be people that want to know what happened to you. You know, knowing that you had to hold on to all your money, a loss right here, struggling and still not wanting this, you know, um, relationship for a cups. Somebody may be handing you a cup and want to get to know what's going on with you, but you're not ready to open up. It's like open up a door to an unexpected person. You don't know what they'll do. They may cause conflict with the five of wands. If this, th these people, whoever this person is, they don't know that you went through all this shit. They're recognizing you though with this six of wands, they see you. You may be like in the public eye, Pisces. You may have a very big Instagram following. You even may be on uh, YouTube doing tarot, doing videos or you know, have like, like little dating websites like Tinder. Um, I forgot what that other one is called. I don't be on that, that type of stuff because I don't like talking to a bunch of new people. Because <laughs> you don't know what the fuck they got going on. But whatever these little, you know, dating websites that you may have, somebody's recognizing you. Or y'all might not even have social media. It could be somebody that's next door. That's been liking you, you know, recognizing you, say hello to you every once in a while. Could be a person at your job, like I said, with that three of pentacles. But they don't know that you went through a lot right here with whoever you was dealing with. They may think you is a little mean, having like a little cold shoulder, like stay away from me. Resting bitch energy, you know, like not, re not ready to open up or say nothing. But they see you, though. They see you in this hermit energy. There's somebody that wants to come in and help you with something. Tell us more about them recognizing Pisces. 
Yeah, the higher font. They see you as a teacher. They see you as somebody that can, to, that can give them some type of information, some knowledge. The higher font is a teacher, a, pr a person who practices what they, they preach. You may be very strong looking to this person. Like you carry yourself very strong, very independent. Tell us more. Yeah, see, this person wants to come in as a lover. This is Gemini energy. Yeah, somebody admires you, Pisces. Yeah, they once again, like I said, they see you in her, but you in hermit. But I think this person knows that you've been through some shit. Virgo energy. They want to grow with you, Pisces. Seven of Pentacles here. Another King of Cups. This could be a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Tell us about the hangman. Self-sacrificing at a pause right here. Upside down. Trying to decide on something. Yeah, you need to decide on this Ace of Cups. This love here. Y'all very well may know who this person is, too. For a lot of y'all, y'all know who this is. Yep. Because let me tell you something. The tower is here to end all of this shit. So whatever happened with you is already currently getting destroyed here. I mean... <laughs> Ain't nothing more that you could do about it. You ain't got to sit here and wait around and be scared. And, hey, this is going to be a transformation. Look at this tower with these butterflies. And that little squirrel looking up at everything. But he's safe. You feel me? Through, through the storm and the rain. There's a rainbow at the end. Because, look, you got the eight of pentacles here. It's going to be a lot of change. A lot of money. A lot of growth. A lot of new beginnings here with this eight of pentacles. The eight of pentacles is hard working energy watching your money get to where it needs to get until it hits your nine and your tenth pinnacle so you gonna have a lot of stability already probably gaining that right now by being by yourself which is a good thing maybe you need to be by yourself for a minute maybe this um you are the high priestess you do um start new beginnings with the fool you are the beginning the first and the last. You're the 12th house. So. I like this. Tell me more about this lover. And then, yeah, I want to know more about the lover. All right, y'all. It's good energy. Good, good, good energy. Whoever this person is, I, I really don't see nothing bad with them. But we're going to go ahead and pull more cards and see what's up with them. But um, whoever this is that's seeing you. They may want you to talk to them about what's going on so they can try to understand you a little bit more. And for some of them, I'm like, ain't nobody even talking to me. I don't got social media. I don't got Facebook, Instagram, Snap, Tinder, none of that. No dating website. I'm not talking to anybody. But somebody may run into you, may want to talk to you. You ain't going to be single forever, Pisces. I believe you do not. Look, temperance. Somebody want to come up with some balance. What else do they want? Sagittarius, you could be dealing with a Sag coming in. I love Sagittarius people. They so cool. Tell us more. Yes, yeah, see, Pisces, they want to come in with this Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles energy. This could be a, a, a Earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Yeah. 
Somebody want to come in with some stability, balance, money, and love. Well, this is sweet. I like that. I like that. I like that a lot. All right. Let me pull y'all Cosmic Insight real quick. And then I'm going to pull y'all Kipper and two more cards. Y'all, I gotta get me some sleep so I can get up for work. Oh, shit. My bad. Okay. Air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This also could be an air sign here. And yes, luck is on your side. So, yeah, there's a lot of luck around. Somebody want to love you. All right, let's get a kipper. I see message. Somebody may be sending you a message right here at the bottom. And then right here, a main female. So this could be you or the person that's coming in. Pisces male. Pisces female, this is you. You're the main female. All right. Let's go ahead and get you a card out of here. It says transform. Yeah, it's going to be a transformation here, Scorpio. Right at the bottom right here, it says eighth house endings and beginnings. Yeah, so it's going to be a lot of endings and new beginnings. That's why it says transformation here. And then let's go ahead and get y'all one of these time cards. Wednesday, make up a balance, be entirely realistic. And that's crazy, right? Because, um, ain't today Wednesday? <laughs> All right. Here it goes for Wednesday, Pisces. Make up a balance, be entirely realistic. So be realistic and balance things out. And then let me go ahead and get y'all an angel card. Wow, that was beautiful. I love that. Ooh, see what I said. Somebody wanted to marry you. Wedding is here. Marriage is a union of two souls joined in love, mutual respect, and commitment. It signifies a desire to deepen love over time. Your wedding day is a testament to your well-founded faith in love's power. Continually breathe life into that faith and love, dearest one. See, yeah, somebody may want to marry y'all, like I was saying. Somebody want to. Yeah. Want to celebrate. Y'all could be going to a wedding, like I said, too. All right. Let's get y'all one last angel card. I'm going to end it. Remain positive. And I'm going to leave it like that, okay, Pisces? Don't reject everybody. 
because sometimes it could be a blessing in disguise. All right. I love y'all so much. I'm going to get me some sleep. Don't trip. I got to get up in a couple more hours. I'm going to be doing some more general readings for y'all. Until then, remain positive and keep them devils off of you. All right. Stay prayed up always. Bye.